Hey everyone, it's Tyler, the Antenna Man. In nearly every antenna review video that I posted, I've said the following. Most TV stations do not broadcast in the channel number you know them as. While I tried my best to spread the word, some people still think that their local NBC4 actually broadcasts on channel 4. In this video, I'll explain exactly why most TV stations don't broadcast on the channel shown on air or on your TV set. So most areas have local TV stations that identify with channel numbers, but most of them are technically not correct. Let's take New York City for example. The major networks include CBS2, NBC4, Fox5, and ABC7. Yet CBS2 broadcasts on UHF Channel 36, NBC4 broadcasts on UHF Channel 35, and Fox5 broadcasts on UHF Channel 27. Only ABC7 broadcasts on the actual channel number they show on air. How did this happen and why don't TV stations identify with the correct channel number? In the analog days, nearly every TV station did broadcast on a TV channel that was shown on your TV set. This changed with the digital transition of 2009. The FCC assigned different channels to each TV station so they could broadcast both digital and analog until the shutoff took place. Using something known as the Program and System Information Protocol, or Virtual Channel, the old analog channel number would still be displayed on TV sets even if the TV station did not broadcast on that channel. This allowed TV stations to keep their legacy analog channel number, a brand that took decades to build, in the digital era. Imagine how much confusion there would be if NBC4 was suddenly NBC35, CBS2 was suddenly CBS36, and Fox5 was suddenly Fox27. Using the virtual channel also allowed most TV stations to move from the low VHF band, which is horrible for digital TV reception, to the UHF band, which is more ideal. Only a few TV stations stayed on their RF channel from their analog days. Many of them are owned by Disney ABC stations, and I'm sure they regret their choice as VHF is no longer ideal for TV reception. It's a good idea to know what channel number the TV stations in your area broadcast on because it will help you select the correct antenna for your area. A lot of people think that they need a low VHF capable antenna because they have a CBS3, when in reality that TV station does not broadcast on channel 3. Most markets only have high VHF and UHF channels. You can find out what channels your local TV stations broadcast on by running a reception report under the signal search tab on rabbitears.info. Look at the RF channel number in parentheses. I did include an instructional video on how to use this website along with some recommended antennas in the description of the video. So that's my explanation about why most TV stations do not broadcast on the TV channel that's shown on your TV set. It was a direct result of the digital TV transition so TV stations could keep their legacy channel number from the analog days and prevent mass confusion. Low VHF channels 2 through 6 aren't really used anymore except in a select few markets. Most TV stations abandoned the low VHF band because it's horrible for TV broadcasting in the digital era. Just ask 6ABC in Philadelphia. A simple Google search of the keyword 6ABC reception problems will lead you to dozens of forums with people who can't get their signal and even a video I made calling the TV station out. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, Visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button this video and you can also click the thanks button. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I include a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.